Hi everyone, I'm Shormishta and I'm back with another video. Uh, in my last video, I taught you people how to teach the pre-primary kids and now I will be telling you guys how to teach a science topic. My today's topic is food and nutrition from class 1 to class 4. Although some content is very much more over here, so please do see that whatever one to four science subject, uh, science syllabus have please do teach only that much and before starting my video i would like to say thank you to all my subscribers and all those who have uh, liked my channel and have viewed it so thank you very much keep uh, liking it and subscribing it so that it become very much uh, easier for me to post this type of video now today i will be teaching you or saying you about a topic called food and nutrition this topic is very much common because we know about this topic now what is nutrition nutrition is something it's a branch of science that mainly deals with the process of obtaining the food how you are eating the food why <clears throat> We are taking, we are eating a chapati. The entire chapati that we are eating or a piece we are eating is not the same way as going into the mouth and coming out. There lies different, different process like absorption, assimilation, ingestion, digestion, everything. Now, this entire process makes up the process of nutrition, number one. Whenever I'm talking about nutrition, the first thing that strikes to our mind is nutrients. What is nutrients? Nutrients are basically those substances that any individual or organism need in order to grow, to reproduce, uh, to survive. That means in short term, we eat food. Why do we eat food? Obviously in order to survive, to grow. As a uh, we move from one particular stage to another means as our age increases so do our weight and height also increase why it increases because we take we intake food so why do we take food in order to survive to grow to reproduce all type of nutrients is not suitable for our health i repeat all type of nutrients is at all not suitable for our health we should intake those nutrients that makes a balanced diet. <clears throat> now, what a balanced diet is? A balanced diet is that type of diet which includes everything. Everything means proper amount of water, proper amount of vitamin, carbohydrate, protein, fat, whatever thing is necessary for a body. Why I'm telling you water because we know that human body that means 70 percent of the human body is occupied with water means we are having water the water level present in our body is 70 percent so we have to drink water daily and it's advised by the doctors uh, to drink minimum six to seven liters of water daily now comes the fact Due to socialization, globalization, we started eating very much junk food. The food like that of uh, pizza, burger, this. All this is this suitable for our health? No, these are not suitable for our health. Yes, once in a while or twice in a month you are eating it, definitely it is okay. But if it has got a regularity or one day leaving after one day it will definitely make you obese what do you mean by the term obese obese or obesity is a new generic term which generally means to get fat accumulation of fat everything is needed for the body be it carbohydrate be it protein be it fat but when unnecessary fat is including is getting increased in your body day by day that gave rise to the term obesity in fact, a recent study uh, report from World Health Organization, it states that maximum nearly 80 to 90% of the population is 
getting into the stage of obese. Why? Because we are having less time and we are all working. We go for tuition, either uh, dance class, tuition class, whatever. So we have to take food. What type of food? After having a healthy food, we have to, since we will go for tuition, we have to take junk food. We have to eat junk food, whether it's a compulsion or not compulsion. I like it. I don't like it, but we, we are in, in taking it. So my point of view is whenever you are eating a diet or whenever you are eating a food, make sure that the food is totally healthy. It's not like that you are eating unhealthy food daily and daily. Now, I talk in this video regarding nutrients. Nutrients are mainly divided into two parts. One is micronutrients, another is macronutrients. Now, what are these macronutrients? I told you regarding carbohydrate, protein, fats. These are macronutrients. Macro, the term macro means in a large quantity, huge quantity. Now, whenever I'm talking about carbohydrate, the first thing that's striking to our mind is that it provides energy. Definitely it provides energy like potato, sucrose, peas. These are all carbohydrate. The basic composition, these are all organic uh, compounds and these are made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Proteins, for example, we are playing and all of a sudden I fell down. Now, my hand got a cut and suppose my hand got a cut here and after two to three days after applying a bodolin or uh, something related to like that, I can see that or we usually see that a white color thread like thing appears here. So what is that? A healing and slowly and slowly we again regain back the skin color. So how we are going it, how we are regaining it back due to eating of proteins. Now what is the function of protein? The function of protein is repairing and healing out of the worn out cell. What do you mean by the term worn out cell? It means the cells that are already damaged. How can we get uh, protein? Yolk is the best example. Avogadro is the best example of protein. Now what is this protein made up of? The protein is made up of amino acids. And what are these amino acids? These are the organic compounds which consist of two main functional group. One is amide that is NH2 and other is carboxyl group that is COOH group. Next comes fat. I told you previously also fat is very much important for our body but to that particular extreme a body needs. Not like that you are intaking fat daily, daily, daily and you are expecting that you will not get obese. No, it's your wrong perception. You will get obese. Now my point of view is fats are divided into two types. One is saturated fat and another one is unsaturated fat. The fat like that of ghee, butter, cheese, we know that these are very much high in fat. There lie certain fats that is good for your body and there are certain fat that is bad for your body. What type of fat is good for our body? Like we take olive oil that is good for our health. If we keep on eating dark chocolates, almonds, more and more amount of uh, butter, ghee, cheese, what will happen? The level of cholesterol in our body, in our body, it will rise up. And what happens if the cholesterol rise up? You will be more prone to a heart attack. That means heart is made up of very much valve, arteries, veins. So there will be blockage of all that thing. Who will block it? Cholesterol will block it. And the flow of blood will be minimum. So it's better that we should take a precaution. So it's not like that. We will not eat anything. We will eat everything, but in a proper amount, in a proper diet. Now comes vitamin. We know that vitamins are of many types, vitamin A, B, C, D, E. So each and every deficiency is related with one or the other symptoms. Like vitamin A, it's if you are not taking proper amount of vegetables and all, you can go for night blindness. Now, what is night blindness? The word itself means night 
blindness blind means you can't able to see when you are unable to see during night time so night blindness so each and every vitamin each and every micronutrients or macronutrients is associated with one or the other symptoms so before in taking food we should always keep this thing in our mind that whether we are eating a proper balanced diet or not so i'm showing you this so here the topic is food and nutrition and what is nutrition the process of obtaining the food the main thing is nutri the main thing in nutrition is the nutrients that is the substance by means of which we uh, survive grow and reproduce and we should always eat a balanced diet so from here i have divided nutrition into two that is micronutrients and macronutrients and over here carbohydrate proteins and fat what comes under macronutrients and what comes under micronutrients so it's my request to you all that whenever you go out or whenever you eat just make sure that you eat a healthy food you eat a balanced food if you eat a balanced food if we all eat a balanced food we can lead a very healthy life so before going out think twice that whether i should be eating this pizzas or it will be suitable for me to eat pizzas and burgers or it will be better to come back home and eat my own prepared food so if you have liked this so please to subscribe to my channel and tomorrow same timing i will be coming again and i will be saying you regarding one to four english so i will be taking one topic of english and i will be explaining it to you so please if you have liked this video do subscribe to my channel and do give a like to this and if you have any queries anything regarding this video do comment me i will definitely give you a reply thank you